guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my tv to sims 4 um series riverdale uh yeah <laughs> anyways um today we are focusing in on the cooper family from the riverdale television series show on cw um betty cooper might be my favorite character. I, it's a hard pick between her and Jughead because I really like, uh, I just really like both of them. Um, as I said in like the first, when I did the Andrews family, um, I like in the beginning, I really thought that her, that Betty and Archie were going to get together. I had like strong vibes. I'm like, Ooh, girl next door, like maybe that might happen but then I'm almost glad that it didn't because I do like Betty and Jughead together um and it's kind of good to like have like I like the friendship that Betty and Archie have they're it's almost like a brother and sister um relationship they're like there for each other uh they're very supportive of one another. Betty even kind of saw um, Fred Andrews as a father type, and I could tell she was very heartbroken, you know, when she lost, uh, when they lost Fred. Um, <clears throat> but Fred kind of had that way. He was very fatherly to everyone. He was a nice guy. But we're not talking about the Andrews family anymore. We're talking about the Coopers. <laughs> um, one thing I like that they do with... Um, Betty's character is they talk about mental health a lot and I think it's really important I'm a very strong advocate for mental health um I like that she uh you know she writes in the diary she um sees a therapist she is open about taking medication I know there's a bit of a time where you know she doesn't take medication and there's all that but I, I just like how they kind of talk about the mental health aspect what I don't like is that, okay, I will say, I do like how now in the later seasons, they are very much pointing at the fact that uh, Betty Cooper could have traits of a murderer, because I'll get into it in a little bit. Her father was the Black Hood, along with many past people in her family had been known for killing and all that. Um, I... Uh, so I think it's kind of interesting that they talk about how Betty Cooper may be, like, showing signs of also being a murderer. Also, I don't think it's really, like, a trait that gets passed down, so that's kind of weird. I know it's a, it's a show, there's weird, you know, things that we don't talk about. But um, I don't like how they say one of the reasons they think that she is a murderer it, like one of the like signs of one you can tell is how murderers write in diaries and stuff like that that kind of makes it almost I feel like a lot of the younger audience might think oh god I shouldn't write in a diary because like maybe that's like a trait of being a murderer no <laughs> not necessarily um but I do like how they talk about mental health speaking of Betty's mental health I am like a hundred percent surprised she hasn't full-on snapped and murdered someone by this point especially someone in her own family because oh my god if I had this kind of family I would snap Alice Cooper lovely woman uh, <laughs> um, it's Betty's mom uh, she's a reporter she uh, So, so, in the last season, I can't remember if they started the farm, the cult, basically, in the last season of the season before that right now. But she essentially joins this farm, uh, and in the end it's found out that she joined the farm because she was reporting on it and she was working, like, with someone to try and take it down. I don't think that's 100% true. I think she went into the cult fully, like, 100% knowing, um what like i i think she went into the cult to be in, at the farm to get away from it all life was stressful her husband was you know a murderer she needed to get away i think she went in fully like to be in the farm and i think maybe later on someone like maybe this someone i don't know maybe something finally clicked eventually maybe betty got to her i don't know 
but number one being because like she gave all of Betty's like money that was saved up for Betty Cooper to go to college she took all of that money and gave it to the farm and that's that's messed up like no one who was just undercover would do that they would have like found if the farm needed money she would have found something else she wouldn't have taken her daughter's money to do that um i i know like betty's obviously got a few things wrong with her hal's got a few things wrong with him uh, more than a few things he's a murderer um, I think Alice has a lot of issues up in the noggin that we're not talking about as well. Um, moving on from that, okay, I think it's creepy. So Alice Cooper, they've made, they made it pretty obvious that Alice Cooper in the past, um, had a relationship with FP, and maybe even now is having in a relationship with them, like in the newer seasons, they've kind of hinted at it. And I think it's kind of weird considering Betty and Jughead are together because FP is Jughead's father. Um, it's also pretty obvious. I know, I don't think they've straight out said it, but it's pretty obvious that uh, this love child, Alice had a love child in, in high school. She said that it was Hal's, like she made Hal believe that it was his, but... It definitely wasn't. It was definitely FP's child. Um, and uh, that is who we at first assumed was Chick, and then later Charles. Um, it's still kind of up in the air whether either of those people are it. For other reasons, uh, I feel like I keep jumping back and forth, but um, isn't it, it's just kind of gross. And then also to think that, like, Betty and Jughead both have half-siblings who are the same person. So technically, does that mean Jughead and Betty are like, they're in the same family tree? Let's just say that. Maybe not necessarily blood-related or anything like that, but they have one sibling who links them together, and they're dating. That's gross, <laughs> which is even more gross, considering that, like, freaking... Polly uh, gets with Jason before the series even starts. She has an she has an established relationship with Jason Blossom. Ends up getting pregnant, having twins. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make the twins in this. Uh, has twins with Jason Blossom, and then it is later found out that. The Blossoms and the Coopers are related. There is a lot of incest going on in this show, and I... Oh, it, it's one of the things I do not like about this show. It's gross, it's gross, it's... Gross. It's disgusting. Um, Alright, going back to Hal. Uh, Hal as Black Hood. I dig it. I liked it. I kind of saw it coming. Why would he be very, like... I, I know he was never going to murder Betty, but, like, why else would he be, like, contacting Betty the most about all of this stuff unless it wasn't her own, like, someone who was related to her in some way? I kind of saw it coming, but also it was kind of... I, I dig it. Um... Once again, I feel like I'm kind of going back and forth with a lot of this, but it's going to happen. I'm a rambler. That's what I do when I'm nerding out like this. So, Hal is the Black Hood. Uh, and because of this, and because of previous murders that happened in the family, it is, you know, theoried that Betty could possibly be a murderer, and there is kind of an ongoing, like, theme in the newest season that, um... Betty and Archie and Veronica um, are going to murder Jughead, or at least be blamed for his murder. I I don't think Betty would murder um, Jughead. Could be proven wrong because you would, murderers would do a lot of things. I think that maybe she. I think she is going to. 
I think she is going to do something. But I don't necessarily think she's going to murder Jughead. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but yeah, I, I think maybe she will murder someone. Maybe she will hurt someone. But I can't imagine her actually doing anything like to Jughead. Because she seems very, like, faithful. Like, I don't know, like, she doesn't seem like someone who would hurt her friends like that. But also... Maybe. I don't know. Now I'm questioning myself. It's kind of, maybe it's just I don't want to think that she would murder him. But maybe she would. I don't know. I, but I kind of think that, um, maybe I'll go into that part of the story when I'm talking about Jughead. About what I actually think happens there. And I feel like it's what most people are thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll talk about that further in the Jughead uh, episode. Which will be next week's, um... Moving on, uh, another aspect, kind of like with Betty being a murderer, um, I kind of like, I do suspect there is a dark side to Betty, and you can tell in like the first season when that, oh god, I can't, Chuck, is it? Um, the like football player who was like sexually harassing like a few of the girls, uh, and she kind of did the whole like dark Betty um thing and she's made it very apparent that there is a darker side to her and I think I don't think it's nec it's like she has two personalities I wonder what her sign is <laughs> um but uh it's almost as if she has two personalities she has the you know the good good at school, precious little Betty Cooper, just wants to write her stories, and and then there's, like, another side of her, which is kind of dark, kind of, like, you know, she's willing to break into places, she's willing to, like, get down and dirty and investigate, and she's willing to, like, get, sabotage people and, like, get to get answers. I don't know. There is a dark side of Betty Cooper, and I think we're going to see it more towards the end of the season. Um, what exactly happens? I don't know. We'll just have to see. I really hope she's not the reason that Jughead gets killed. I honestly hope that Jughead doesn't actually get killed. I hope he just is going missing or something like that. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I have more theories, but once again, I will talk about it in the Jughead, um, episode, uh, let's see, um, kind of going back to Hal and the relationship, the relationship between the Coopers and the Blossoms, they're obviously related, there is, like, an episode where he reveals the, there is, they're related. Whoa, words, Jamie. Um, it, so he knows it, but he, he still, when he is in prison, and maybe even earlier, I'm pretty sure actually earlier now that I think about it, he still has a relationship with Penelope Blossom, which is a whole, the Blossoms is a whole other story I need to get into, but I just, I'm still kind of stuck on the whole incest that's going on in the show, and it's very, it's obviously most prominent in the, like, Cooper and Blossom household. Well then, and also the Jughead household, because the whole son with, I don't know, it's just all gross and I can't, like, stop thinking about it now, like, why, why so much incest, why so... Why? <laughs> I don't know. I just... It's gross. Okay. Um... So, like I said in the last episode, um, I'm just gonna reiterate in this one, I can't make it 100% accurate because I myself have not walked inside this house, so there's a lot of stuff that I'm not completely sure. You know, there's lots of scenes where you can see, like, the walkway going into the house and you can see into the living room. And mind you, there's only so much I can do with Sims 2. And I'm using a, I'm not using any custom content. I'm using only Sims um, stuff, packs, and all that. Um, I don't even have all of them. So, but uh, 
So a lot of the house, there's like certain things where I can't fully do 100% what I want to do. Or not necessarily that, but you can't see all of the house in the show. You can, you know, think that you see all of the house in the show, but there could be portions of the house that are completely missing. Or sometimes things change a lot. And like, you'll be watching one episode and you're like, oh yeah, like that's, well, the living room looks like this. And then like the next episode or like the next season it's completely different like the whole layout is different it's like i don't know kind of weird so keep that in mind um when you're watching this house build or if you do end up downloading the house build off the gallery um i also there's a lot of rooms that you don't kind of see but it's like such a big space but it's like i don't know there should be something there but i don't know what's there so i kind of just put whatever down. Um, the only room that I really decorated upstairs was Betty's room because that's really the only room we see a lot of. Um, the rest are done, it's just I only filmed Betty's upstairs. Uh, um, let's see, I think like Polly's room you only see like, I think there's like a flashback or something like that where you see it for like a second or you might see a glimpse of it so I kind of like I kind of went based off that but not really uh yeah the like Alice and Hal's bedroom you don't really see much of so I kind of just winged it um there's like a whole portion of the house where I wasn't really sure there's a few portions of the house where I wasn't sure at all what to do with them so I kind of just uh put something else there. I added an extra living room with an actual television. Because I know I've seen episodes where they're at Betty's house and they're watching TV, but also it's always in that one living room. Like sometimes there's that entry living room, like kind of like a sitting area. Like sometimes there's a TV and sometimes there's not a TV. So I was a little confused about that. Um, So I kind of just added an extra living room in a little right on the other side of the entryway. I didn't know what else to do with it. Yep, you don't have to download (laughs) this uh, if you don't like it, or if you think you know better what to do with it, by all means, download off the gallery, change it up. Um, Let me see, uh, you can add it back to the gallery, uh, put the hashtag Jamie Nerding Out, or tag me, whatever. Um, I would absolutely love to see it. Yeah, um, I think that is all, um, yeah, I think that is all I have to talk about for this episode, um, I'm almost done with the build, I'm watching it as I do it, as I said before, um, thank you guys so much for watching, in the comments below, I asked something earlier, Hmm. I think I asked about whether you think Betty is going to murder Jughead. Maybe. I could be wrong. I can't remember right now. Anyways, if I didn't answer whatever question I asked before, and tell me, do you think Betty Cooper is going to murder Jughead? Um, or do you think, like, she's going to have, like, do you think she'll actually become a murderer? What's up? What do you think? Um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, especially if you like these videos so you can be sure to, you know, watch them every week. I want to post every Friday unless I say otherwise, unless something comes up, you know, life happens. Um, all right guys, thanks. Bye.